I rode for 24 years. So I grew up on that bike, you know, I rode it every day. A freak accident went wrong, I lined up my neck. I actually flatlined three times. I went down and I just died on the dirt right there. And uh, paralyzed from the neck down. My life's a little bit different. I really miss being free and the freedom that you can have and the things you take for granted, man, like brushing your teeth, you know, I can't do that. You know, go to the bathroom, I can't do that. You know, all the things that I used to be able to do, uh, I obviously can't do the majority of them. Like, you know, when I'm laying in bed, uh, all I can do is That's all the movement I have, so no matter how frustrated I get, or I, you know, or how just ballistic I'll get, you know, I've learned from that, you know, through the years, that, you know, you gotta accept it and deal with it. You know, I need the help of friends and family, and, uh, you know, someone needs to be my left hand and, and right hand. I mean, by myself, it's it's impossible by myself. You know, a lot of the people that I thought they'd be there for me, I don't even know why they went. I don't know, I don't know why, I don't understand if they can't uh, face the situation head on. And it's gotta be hard for them to swallow. God has plans for everybody, you know. Uh, whether you're rich or poor, or whatever shape or size, or uh, deformity or disabledness, whatever it is, you know. Uh, I know that now being in this position and doing what I'm doing, I know that uh, God's put me in this position, he's kept me alive. I know I became uh, a much better person uh, from this accident. I have a completely different perspective on life. You know, I think of others before thinking of me. And, uh, and before I think about myself, before anyone else. You know, I have my children now, man. My kids, uh, they, they were, they both ride BMX now and have track on my yard just like before. And uh, I get my enjoyment out watching them ride. You know, I know that I'm in a chair. I kind of pick my kids up like I want to. I can't do all the things that dad would just love to do with the kids run around, wrestle with them, play football, soccer, or whatever, you know, ride bikes. God, ride bikes with my son, that'd be amazing, you know? You know, at first you think, how, how can I do anything from chat? Well, you know, if that's all you got, then you find a way to do it. You know, I gotta get up and put my game face on every day I get up. You know, every day is, a new day, you know, I like to be able to make a mark every day, uh, be able to leave something positive behind. You know, I've started up uh, Stay Strong, uh, you know, it's a motto, you know, it's a, it's a saying, stay strong, you know, when you mind, your body, your soul. The message I would always give to people in times of hurt or pain or when they think they're gonna give up or they think they have nowhere to go or uh, 
they're fighting something that they think is going to overcome them. Well, if you think there's nothing left, reach inside and dig deeper. If you think there's nothing left, reach inside and dig deeper. And I just want to be able to share that with people. And, uh, ain't about me no more, man. It's about that. It's about us. It's about others in need.